Hello, this is Got to Love Fish, and today I'm going to show you my baby mollies. They are from a albino molly. I got her a couple months ago, and she has been in this tank without any other mollies um, for the whole time that I've had her. These babies are about a month and a half old. There's also three others that are um, just about a week and a half old. And she has had all of these babies. There's 13 of the older ones. She's had all these babies without having a male in the tank. Now, Molly and a lot of other live bearing fish, they can actually hold sperm um, and use it whenever they like. They can hold it for months. People have set up to six months or more if they really want to. So. What my Molly has been doing, she had bred before, and then she just goes ahead and uses sperm that she got from that male, and has babies um, about every month, it seems like. She's had two batches in just over two months. Um, so here you can see the older babies. In this video, I wasn't able to show any of the younger ones, but they're like a third of the size of these guys. And they are more skittish than these guys because these ones grew up with only the female in the tank. So they didn't really have much to be scared about. But the younger ones are scared of the older babies. So they don't show much. But I see them every once in a while, especially when I put some flakes in there. And speaking of food, they have plenty of food. They actually really help with the algae problem in the tank and keeping it down. Um, they love to eat all the hair algae and everything, which is great because that's what I've had a problem with. And they also get flakes, um, and they love those as well. So they are all doing really well. And another thing I want to talk about is kind of like how albinoism works, because you can see that none of the babies show albinoism. You can see that they albino if they have red eyes and no pigment. They don't. They have red eyes because they don't have pigment, um, but they also don't have pigment in the rest of their body, so they can only produce the color from basically their blood. Um, in the female, she is kind of an orangish color, yellowish color. That's all from just um, no pigment. I don't know what color she would have been because she's albino. Um, but I have concluded that the male is not albino, not even part albino, because none of the babies show albinoism. So all of the babies, since they come from a dad without any genes for albinoism and a mom that is albino, they all carry um, half a gene for albinoism. So if they mate, um, half the babies, if the babies mate, their babies, half of them will be half will carry a gene for albino, a fourth of them will be normal, and a fourth of them will be albino and show albinoism. Um, and then if two albinos mate with each other, then they will always have albino babies. So this is very interesting to me. If you want to learn more about genetics and stuff, you can go ahead and research it online or feel free to ask in the comments below. Um, so yeah, it's pretty interesting, and I conclude conclude all this that um, the male is not albino just from looking at the babies that this female has had. And I'm really not sure what type of mollies these babies are because they are not a very bright color. Um, they were born just like brown with some black like on the edge of their fins and stripes on their bodies. Uh, that's kind of normal for baby fish. Um, so I'm kind of thinking that the dad was um, at least part Dalmatian. A couple of you guys have spots on them. Um, or like green. Green has green mollies. They kind of show like a darker color and brown on them. 
So let me know in the comments below what you think they are. And I'd be interested to look at what types of mollies you think they are since they're so different. And if you have any other questions about genes or anything, feel free to ask in the comments below. And that should be it today. Thanks for watching. Bye.